I am the Micah. He's ain't a lacrimosa D woman. Dana. 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 Something of those. We got a couple hours in yesterday. We'll probably only get a couple more in today, but we're gonna keep going. There's more Twitter discourse, but oh. oh I meant to look it up. Let's see who was credited with scoring in this game. Because the more I thought about it, the music sounded more to like a... Uh... Oh. Oh, I hit that. Uh... Maybe the crossbow people more so than uh, steel. I could be wrong with that. I was supposed to be going back there. Chest. Red meat. Bone necklace. What is that? HP plus one. Oh. Stand still for a second. I need all. Addle. A doll. That's tight. That's a, that's like super significant. Especially considering how bad I am at the game. Or right. oh, can I just like not climb these yet or am I being stupid? Take this moron back to camp. We can go this thing again. Shiny. I'm gonna build a bad habit of not dodging. <laughs> Doggy, oh. what up, an acting? 
Talk on music has no chill. I know, right? Oh, we didn't. Strange mass iron. I feel bad murdering this dog. Aesthetically pleasing to the eyes and ears. Yo. How do I collect these apples? On their own, they heal 2 HP. Adol, you're back. Who might this be? Man, the captain just doesn't remember any of the people that were on his boat. So Sudden 7 used the same party system? Cool. I did pick up, um, oh, I need to add it to the on deck. Um, because it was still like only five bucks on Steam right now, I did pick up Origin. And that'll probably be the next East game we play. You're Captain of the Lombardia. So hot, I'm truly sorry for. It wasn't your fault. Huh? Judging by the current. Oh, I probably could have fast traveled, couldn't I? The weather that was no ordinary sinking. I'm pretty sure them scary looking tentacles are our fault for what happened. Hmm. What we should really be worrying about is whose tentacles. Who those tentacles belong to. Or I hope it's not the legendary Kraken. Anyway, I guess we can chalk this up to bad luck. Origin is Storylight? Well, it can't be any... I mean, there was a... It seemed like Storylight, but it had some good lore to it. And interesting character interactions. We're gonna only, only play a little bit. Like, I got to, like, the second boss. Um... Like, the proper big ones. But it was a fun game to play. Oh, this should be your first story-based sky graphics ease. Heard. Thank you, Son. I hope this means more castaways are gonna start showing up. Oh? And who might you be? <laughs> I ran across him while I was searching this area. Hey, Adol! Looks like our bad luck hasn't quite run out yet. East one, two are, of course, but the first is a primitive version of the Origins bosses. I just, well, I just wanted to play Origin because after playing East one, two, it seemed like I tied it because well, obviously it ties a lot into that. And I like the what I have played, so that's probably why I do that one next. And then we'll pick it up. Uh, three through seven. Let's have some fun with them. Who are you? Yeah, I did play one and two. 
I played like the the Chronicles version. Uh, yeah, like I guess I I played one and two. I beat both of those. Just straight running into dudes. I actually had a lot of fun with that. Just like chilling out. Uh, as I played them on my Vita, just like chilling out, just kill thirty to forty minutes every now and then. It was cool. Who are you? But like the comment and platforming of Origin is really After fun. The attack, I grabbed hold of some floating debris and rode the current till I washed up here. I swear, this stuff only happens when I'm with you. Never a dull moment when you're around. Probably all three. You don't care for the mages combat? Because you have to beat the first two before you unlock the third one, right? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, not as much as you do, though. How can they be so cavalier? <laughs> I guess that's what makes those two adventurers. <laughs> I don't know what your deal is, but I can already tell I'm gonna like you both. Adol, we've been through a lot today. Let's compare our information so we can plan our next course of action. We'll probably do Unica and then to all. Then. As you can see, we now have the makings of a base camp in place thanks to Dovi. The sun is already beginning to set. Let's rest up here for tonight. Gotcha. Is it the mage kid like you run into like early on? Unless you're really doing it. That's fair enough. If I'm really enjoying it, then. But if it's like the exact same story beats just with a different character, then I probably wouldn't do it. Are you certain, Doogie? Yeah. I washed up on the beach just south of here, and I definitely saw another set of footprints in the sand. You don't think it could be another Lombardia passenger? It's quite possible that several passengers have drifted ashore onto this island. Also, the footprints weren't that big. They could have belonged to a woman or child. Oh, that's worrying. Yeah, I searched the area, but they must have already left. The 2.5D bosses are different between the characters? Gotcha. We should search for them at once, but it's simply too dangerous to explore an unfamiliar area at night. Oh, and they're safe. That's for them in the morning, Mr. Christian. Something I'm worried about is another is the monster that attacked you. All my life I ain't never seen a beast that ferocious. Based on your account, the beast that made be indigenous to this island. I can't believe something so large and aggressive could be lurking here. Beasts like that pose a real threat to us castaways. If there's any other passengers on this island, we've got to find them and bring them here fast. Yes. We should fortify this area to better defend ourselves. No, that's not it. Starting tomorrow, I'd like you to oversee the development of this base, Doogie. Sure thing. What do you want me to do exactly? Oh, I want Dogi in my party so I can, like, punch people. We need to build up our base so the castaways can be safe until we escape. We obviously need shelter from inclement weather, but we also need a place where we can store food. Eventually, we need to build a facility where we can construct the ship we'll use to escape. Wow, you're serious about this. Sounds like you want this to become a regular castaway village. Indeed, I think you're the perfect man for this job. I'll assist you in any way I can. Just leave it to me. I can't wait to get started. My boom arm sucks. Addle, I'd like you to continue drafting the map while you can search for the other passengers. Perhaps tomorrow you can expand the scope of your exploration. Oh, I was going to do this. Ooh. Still annoying monsters roam this island. Adventurers or not, I must admit that I'm worried for your safety. As much as I love to join you, Adol, I gotta take care of things here. In that case, I'll go with them. That beast may have got the jump on me, but I'm a good tracker and pretty damn strong, too. Hmm, I see. Then please accompany Adol. What about you? Are you gonna go with Adol, too? 
Yes, I will. Yeah, welcome aboard. Ugh. Now then, I think we should all get some rest. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow and plenty of work to do. Thank you. Two moons? Is one of them secretly like a space station? Wait, that was chapter one? Back in the barn, everyone. Yes, yes, you're such good boys. A doll hears a girl's voice that he doesn't recognize. Is this a dream? Ugh. What's the matter, Dana? Father, people are coming to this valley. Hmm, another vision then? Yes, it's Hugh, it's crisp and clear. I think they'll be here tomorrow morning. Dana, are you? I'm okay. Hmm? I personally decided to do this. You don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. I understand. Still, I wonder who they are. They didn't look like people I know. They were wearing robes and riding carts pulled by big beasts. Hmm. They're probably not merchants either. They never come this way during the rainy season. I wonder who you saw. The temple of the great tree. The hollowed ground before the great tree of origins where the maiden resides. Then, Dana is. Yes, your daughter has been blessed with outstanding essence. We've come to escort her to the temple. Oh, but this is so sudden. Yes, we understand that. However, as you no doubt, your daughter is chosen by the oracle. I know, we can't refuse. Father, I decided. Wait, Luna Freya chose her? The houses visited by the messenger are... Oh, dang, I missed... And... The Castaway Banquet. So this isn't like Trails chapters where they're like all very long. This is just like a bunch of small chapters. Then. Good morning. Why do you look so tired? Hmm. A weird dream? I guess even adventurers get the occasional nightmare. We're supposed to search for more castaway ma castaways, remember? You mean right now? <clears throat> Before we go, there's something I'd like to show you, Mr. Kristen. While I was out for a walk this morning, I found a crate that washed ashore. Inside, I found your clothes. I found some clothes that looked to be your size. They're well made and look appropriate for exploratory excursions. Please come this way. Oh, look at the little dagger tucked into the boot. What do you think? These clothes are certainly more durable than a sailor's uniform. Please don't get the wrong idea. Given the circumstance, I merely thought we should use whatever we can find. Anyway, I still haven't seen Sahad this morning. Let's find him so we can begin our search. Changing costumes. Okay. Oh, we have this bordered off. Can I still go there, though? Okay, never mind. It's 
Adol and the little lady. Where'd you find that getup, Adol? I, I just found it on the beach. Please don't make it sound so weird. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Saw and I woke up early feeling pretty hungry, so we came here. I gotta eat breakfast and take a dump after I also get all antsy. Oh my gosh. Excuse me? Would it kill you to behave with a modicum of modesty? You know, like a proper adult? It's getting too muddy in here. Back is far, the mic is far away from the AC unit as possible. You're trying to modif um, deal with the background noise. God, what's the matter? Feeling hungry too? <laughs> Sounds like you got a healthy appetite. How dare you? That most definitely was not me. Mr. Kristen. M -m 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 Mr. Kristen, I should say. Apologize at once for making such a vulgar noise. I'm a gentleman. It's fine, as long as you understand. Look, she's blushing. Anyway, we're definitely going to fall behind if we head out on empty stomachs. I got a lot of heavy lifting to do, but I'll see what I can do about our food situation first. Say, so, Saad, so, you're a fisherman, right? Think you could catch us some fish to eat? Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? I just got to scrounge up the right tools first. Oh, there's my knee. Um, but yeah, I can make that happen. Well, that settles it. Why don't you head to the beach with Saad and catch us some breakfast? In the meantime, I'll get a fire ready so we can cook your catch. Must I really go too? I've never caught a fish before. Yeah, don't worry. I'll teach you how to bait a hook in Castle Line. Remember, if you want to eat, you got fish. <laughs> Very well then. Oh yeah, one last thing, Adol. I prepped some facilities in the village that might help you out. Facilities? Well, I guess they're not facilities in the usual sense. Still, why don't you check them out before you head to the beach? Yeah, we can check them out. But we gotta be fast or else last year's stomach is gonna keep grumbling at us. I already said that noise didn't come from me. Brewing. It's a bulletin board. Doki and the others must have set it up. This looks like where Dogi is storing all the village's materials. There's a note here. Let's read it. Warehouse rules. The materials in the warehouse belong to everyone. Help yourself to anything you need, but don't forget to replace it with something of equal value. <laughs> Management. <laughs> Reminds me of an old-timey trade system. God, I bet this will come in real handy. Trading items. After collecting a certain amount of materials, they can be traded for materials of superior quality. All right, cool. A hammer and a rusty anvil? What's this for? True, we might be able to do some minor upkeep to our weapons. Oh, I get it, simple but helpful. All we need to maintain our weapons are the proper materials. Materials? Oh, that reminds me. I found this near the shore. This might come in handy if you have time. Let's try it out. Materials are used to enhance weapons. Select a weapon to enhance. Select enhance. Enhancing will enhance the enhancements of your enhanced weapon. There's two iron ore and three... Find craftsman achievement. Am I in the wrong spot? 
Um, hmm. I don't know. We don't, we'll leave it for now. Um, Captain Barbaros is walking around said he wanted to check out the area. So I guess I can try to have breakfast ready before he gets back. Why don't you three head to the beach and catch up some fish? On your way, make sure to check out the new facilities too. I see the fish. I ate all and the others went to the beach sea and used the drifters to make improvised fishing rods. From there, so I began to teach them how to fish. With waves as calm as a perfect day for fishing. All right, let's catch up some fish. Where do we even start? Typically, you want to find a spot where there are lots of fish and cast your line there. Isn't spotting fish easier said than done? God, lucky for us, there are lots of fish swimming around this island. We don't gotta look that hard to find them. Look over there, check it out. Is that? All right, those are fish shadows. It means there's fish gathering near that spot. Might even be on a big catch if you're lucky. If you ever want a fish, keep your eyes peeled for signs of fish activity. That makes sense. One more thing, you can't fish without bait. Oh, obviously we need bait. I just wish it wasn't worms. Yeah, you know, fish tend to like local bait, you know, nearby critters and such. Just do a little exploring and you'll find a whole bunch of them. Anyway, experience is the best teacher. Come on, let's do some fishing. Up to put out fishing rod, A to catch your line, fish bars, press A. Use A and left stick to reel in the catch. Come on, fish. Hey, I caught one. Caught a sardine at fifteen point six centimeters. Grade D. Oh, I've got a bite. Huh? It's stronger than I expected. I I did it. Look, everyone, see what I caught. Um, I mean, I'm just surprised that I was able to catch one. Not bad, you're pretty good for a beginner. I think I, you two got real potential. Really? I can't explain what came over me, but it was rather enjoyable. Yeah, you guys can keep using those rods. Use them whenever you got the fishing itch. Also, I'll be really helpful if you guys could record every fish you catch. Especially if you ever get a craving for some grilled fish. <laughs> Looks like we've caught enough for making hearty breakfast. That's the way we finished everything that was asked of us. Let's return to Dogi. The fire should be ready by now. My man doesn't have a fire going. What have you been doing all this time, Dogi? Welcome back. Did you catch check out the facilities? Huh, you mean it? I'm glad I got them all set up. How'd the fishing go? See for yourself. Nice haul. I'll start cooking them up right now. Right new. But how should I prepare them? We don't have much to work with in terms of seasoning. I want to make do with the natural flavors of the catch. In that case, I'll whip up some fish soup. As for the cooking utensils, let's do a whistle, whistle, whittle some wood and use that. Make sure you don't use chuck. Make sure you don't check the bones. We can use them to make a hearty broth. Oh, that's a great idea. Do you know how to cook too? Oh, I see. You don't know how to cook, La Laxia? Ah, uh, well, I guess it's not, that's not surprising. S sorry, I'm just used to servants preparing my meals. This is a great opportunity. The recipe for the soup is so simple, anyone can follow it. Why not use it to practice your cooking? How considerate of you, thank you. Learn recipes, got it. Bilch. Yeah, I'm stuffed. What do you think, Lasha? Is your stomach finally full? Yes, thank you. 
I was wondering how we'd feed ourselves on this island, but I guess that won't be an issue for us. Now then, Mr. Kristen, we should begin our search for the other survivors. Oh, that's right. We're going to move on, Adol. But before you head out, you might want to check in with Captain Barbaros. Good idea. He just came back, so I know he's around here somewhere. Sorry, I can't be more specific. Speaking of cooking, I'm making chicken fried steaks for dinner. Um, pulled a shoulder roast we had in the freezer. Thawing it out. So I actually need to go check that in a little bit. <gasps> My man's got a parrot! It does, though I suspect it's simply unafraid of people, having lived his entire life on this deserted island. I thought he'd get pretty useful if I taught him some simple words to use. Oh, I say he's pretty smart for a bird. Indeed, he's already learned basic greetings, so I suspect he comes from good stock. He needs a name, though. Speaking of words, my daughter just started talking on her own, too. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, you're what? You have a daughter? Huh? Of course I do. And let me tell you something, little lady, my wife, she's every bit the beauty you are. Really? For some reason, I'm very curious to meet her. Yeah, well, if we get out of here alive, you can all come and meet my family. Not many outsiders come to visit, so it'll be a real treat for them. We'll keep that in mind. You got any little ones, Captain? Yes, there's a young daughter, just like you. Yeah, well, I'll be damned. Sounds like we both got one hell of a good reason to get out of here alive. Hmm, indeed we do. By the way, Adol, there's something I'd like to share with you before you go. We'll need a wide variety of materials to finish building the castaway village, but Dogi and I will never be able to gather all the materials we need on our own. So I'll get you to help us by gathering the materials we need to you while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials for building a village hut, so stuff like wood and stone. Actually, what we'll need will vary depending on what we want to build. So come up with a bulletin board system, that way people can write down what we need. If you ever need anything specific, just write it here for all to see. Got it. We should check the bulletin board whenever we return to the village then. Check the bulletin board for quests, then speak to the client for details. Man, Falcom has their formulas. <laughs> Completing quests for results and rewards and increase the client's approval. That's all for now. Please continue your search for any other castaways. I'm counting on you. So I was to start looking for castaways. Didn't Dogie say something about seeing someone somewhere earlier? My word, were you not paying attention? Yeah, sorry. Mr. Kristen, you remember where we are supposed to go, don't you? Very good, however, that's just common sense. Dogie told us that he saw footprints on the shore to the south. We should consult our map and proceed so we don't get lost along the way. Uh, I forgot. I wanted to check out. I didn't check out this actually. It's three sturdy lumber. Well, it looks like you're finally off on a brand new adventure. I'm gonna focus on fortifying the village while you're away. Just don't overdo it out there. Ha, who am I kidding? I know better than to say that's you. Well, my request has to do with the warehouse here. As you can see, all the materials we collect are stockpiled here. We have an exchange system in place, but some materials run out faster than others, especially materials dropped by beasts. It's hard to maintain our stock when some items are used more often than others. Think you can help me replenish our stock? Ah, I knew you'd help me out, buddy. Judging by our current inventory, I only need a couple specific things. I need 12 murky mucus and 8 light bones more than anything else. When you bring me those, I think our store situation will be okay. Think you can those items for me? Ah, thanks a ton. When you got all the materials, make sure you bring them to me instead of dropping them off here. Don't we already have those?
Thanks, buddy. We did it. Nailed it. No one's ever beaten that quest so fast. Thank you. Our stock of beast materials have been replenished. Now there's more to offer in exchange for rare materials. Take this for a job well done. Is that not just ripped from Metroid? Huh, good stuff, huh? When I'm feeling bored, I like to go out and flex my hunt muscles for a bit. Anyway, feel free to use the warehouse as much as you want. Yeah. Right back at you, buddy. Just leave this all to me. <laughs> we did it. We did the quest. I like to build beds for the lodge. Catch up and bring me three pieces of sturdy lumber. I'm in no great hurry, of course. Let me know when you have them. Then let me see. You didn't make much progress. Want to know their reason in the game? Sure, go for it. I don't care. If it's not some giant spoiler, then yeah. Screw you too, then. They said Dogi dominates the conversations. What was this way? The developer said that? Let's go, switch! So like, like, you mean like, like, fan conversations or what? He's only a full-time member in seven? I'm not even entirely sure. Oh. I guess technically we're heading south. Most people would only have one party member to use. Is this the starting area? It is. Back to the beginning. Adol and Doge are BFFs. My word. Looks like this big tree is blocking our way. I don't think we can go around it. We can climb over it. So we just gotta get out of the way so we can head over to the other side, yeah? Are we, are you including me? No, you're just a tight life, so me and Adol will handle this.
Not the biggest fan of this. Wow, that bird talks good. Little Caro. So, that's your name. Little Caro, Mess Inger. Mess Inger? What's it talking about? Mess Inger, tell you a lot. Yeah, a messenger, you know, like a pin in bowling that comes sweeping across and takes out another one? No, I'm okay. I help get treats. Just heard the best description? Of what? Tell me. It just flew away. Apparently needs more training to be a proper messenger. Oh well. Come on, Ada, let's get to work. As time passes, we eventually realize they just weren't strong enough. Come on, you gotta get muscles going. Decided to return to the village when suddenly. Hey, Adam. A Tales game without incidents comp. Yeah, I, so the only Tales game I really I finished was Tales of Arise. Look. So I'm not the biggest Tales fan, but I'm enjoying this. I enjoyed Tales of Arise, but man. Have you beaten Tales of Arise? Little Paris and you would help us? Yeah, more or less. He's I mean, already proven quite useful. In sisters like this, where long distance communication is needed, he'll be invaluable. Guy, man, I'm pretty surprised. Nice work, little guy. I'll tell you, I'll tell everything you thank me. Now give me food. Considering the captain has been training him, he's surprisingly rude. All the steam ones are apparently good. So the stereo is the first one I tried, and I got around like 25-ish hours into it, and then I stopped playing it because I kind of just lost interest. Then I tried Berseria, and I played it for two hours, and then I lost interest. And then I tried Vesperia, and I got almost 20, or about 20 hours in, and then I lost interest, and then I played Arise. Arise was the first game that I streamed. Um, you can catch my, although it's riddled with audio issues, um, you can catch the full, um, playthrough on the, on the YouTube channel. Um, but man, the, there's like a point before you go to like the end game area and I'm like, man, this game is amazing. I'm going to give like, I was like, I was on the, I was around like giving it an A minus most of the game. And then at that point I was like, oh, this is incredible. I want to give it an A. And then by the end. I was just like, never mind, this isn't even an A minus anymore. <laughs> Not like narratively, although I wasn't super satisfied with the way they resolved it narratively. There was just so many of those scenes. And then you discover well, I play I, just, I had knew about trails before that, so <laughs> Well, I knew about trails and ease. Um I just found it so different. I, 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 I find Trails combat to be so engaging. And like, even though I get why a lot of people have issues with like just the sheer amount of dialogue in Trails, um, I just I still find like the world super interesting. And then I played East 1 and 2 super casually, so this is my first time like really going into a Trail uh, East game. Like a proper modern one. Huh? I think he might have picked up some new words while I was talking to him. I better be more careful who relay a message that I didn't mean to send. Perhaps we should all be mindful of that. Yeah. Anyway, is this the tree that's giving you guys trouble at all? Of course, that's why we're here. Yeah, that Dogie's on the scene, you guys don't have nothing to worry about. Hmm, let's get to it then. If a large obstacle blocks the way forward, I send help request to a castaway village. Come on, yeah, let's go to this log. Okay, I'm gonna start on it. Yes! Even with Dogie and Captain Barbaros' help, removing the fallen tree was difficult. 
Origin and 1 and 2 are rough for people expecting a typical JRPG. Well, Origin is more like an action platformer with like interesting boss encounters from what I remember. 1 and 2 is like Zelda 1. With a bit more narrative. <laughs> um, yeah. The last years were locked down first. She'd shoot and join in and help the others too. If everyone was covered in mud when it was all over, they were able to clear a path. We did it. The tree was clear. Thanks. Thanks that was tiring. I'm tired too. But as soon as we finally made some progress. Mm hmm? The rest shine bright. Like a diamond? God, I wonder what we would have done if the others hadn't shown up. We might need everyone's help again if we encounter more obstructions in the future. If we find more castaways, I hope they'll be willing to help us. We just gotta take things one step at a time is all. Well, Para, what are you still doing here? I see you from Sky, I tell you. You thank me. Nearby event points have been marked on the map. They really should have done that. Where, like, Doge comes in and like, don't worry, I got this. He just punches it and it goes, Pow. Man, what's this bird's deal anyway? Don't ask me. I'm just a bird. I know nothing. See for yourself. <laughs> that bird cracked me up. Yes, stilted speech aside, he already has, he has already proven to be very helpful. Well, now that everything's squared away, let's continue moving. You better off thank me. White sand cape. Look at that big ass walrus looking thing. And actually, if I was to ask you what's your favorite game of all time, what would you say? I was dodging. Just like if someone asked you what's your favorite video game of all time, what would you say? I 
I own a little over 2,000 games. Which one's your favorite? Like, if you had to pick one. Like, granted, your opinion may change over time. Oh, we got our sturdy lumber. We can finish our quest. What is this thing over here? New location discovered. Cobalt Crag, an impressive discovery man on the Isle of Sarah. It'll be an unforgettable memory of your adventure. We're capturing sites. Beauty is memorizing. You know, this weird looking rock might make for a good landmark. You should know this location on our map. Memorable landscapes or scenery or location points. Could only have one game. Warcraft 3, solid choice. Mucus? How do I get up there? How do I get up here? We got five bait. Can we jump up here from here? I want this flower. How do I get up here? What up, Breen? How you doing? Going all right. I can't make this jump. Maybe. Yes. Can you make this jump? Are you big fella? Oh, come on. something really stupid things in Mega Man Star. Sure. 
I'm not the most familiar with... Oh my gosh. people to help clear out the mud. Got it. All right, Walrus. Oh my gosh. We did it! We killed this thing! Space simulator not only locks doors on its guests, but also removes the oxygen even worse. Was made by an asshole that hurt people. Like, is this a, a, a narrative thing that you find stupid? Is that what you mean? How do we get this flower over there? Do I unlock a double jump at some point in the game? I need to come back just to get this damn flower. <sighs> Whatever. What's that X? Is that the mud? Oh yeah, okay, it's mud. Narrative thing? Gotcha. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. Oh, we are going the right way. Nice. Should I go back and return the... Return the... Or turn in the quest first before I move it forward? I'm gonna do it. Oh, everything's respawned. I wish there was a- is there an on-screen indicator of when I, I'm gonna level up? We got Digitalis leave. Just a second, I'll read all that whenever I get back to camp. I didn't even realize the music had changed. Oh wait, how do I fast travel?
does not pay nameless codes. That's not what I meant to do. Which one of these is the... There we go. <laughs> Alright, so... Snake exhibit, most dangerous snakes in the world. No safety or security, no glass walls. Keep the snakes for people. No railings. Exhibit so humid, the floors are slippery. School literally thought it was a good idea to cram their students' brains with radiation to make them learn faster. That's the most anime thing I've ever heard in my life. Snakes who leave the exhibit if they felt like it. Neat. Um. May I have them? Sure. At last, we have real beds. I prefer fluffier bedding than this, but this should help us sleep easier. Yeah, good for you, little lady. If you ask me, sleep on the floor ain't all that bad. Right, Adol? Yeah, it's true. Hammocks do feel pretty nice. They do? But beds are obviously superior. How is this even open for debate? You too, I swear. At least the captain is thoughtful for being so... Thank you for being so considerate. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Why I should be thanking you for gathering the materials and help me build them. Hmm, that's quite alright. This was a nice change of pace for us. I must say, I didn't expect you to be such a jack of all trades, Captain. The framework for these beds is quite remarkable. Yeah, if I had to build a bed, it'd probably end up looking like a table with a blanket draped over it. Where'd you learn to do this, anyway? I've dabbled in many trades over the years. Carpentry, cargo loading, shipwright. Even now, my daughter still asks me to make furniture for her. You don't say. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you and your daughter are so close. Hmm, <laughs> thank you. Anyway, thank you for helping me with this. I'll do whatever I can to make sure everyone is comfortable until we get off this island. If you ever get tired while you're exploring, feel free to rest here at any time. We will, thank you. <laughs> we did it! We got a wooden shield! We got a Deku shield. Because boss for space stage was an angry coworker of its creator, the boss of the snake stage. School's one boss was a teacher with a mental breakdown. <laughs> Drew the radiation. What in shield obtained? Got it. Alright, we made beds. Equip. Wooden shield. Oh, I don't get a shield on my arm? That's lame.
Shields are dumb. They keep you alive. Um, all right. I suppose that is the closest one then. All right, before I do this, uh, I'm gonna go check my uh, thawing meat. Uh, make sure it's going all right. I'll be right back. They still look stupid. <laughs> um, on my way back from my adventures, I found a banana. I didn't mean to do that. This woman appears to be a castle. Would you like to talk to her? She's that one, one dude's wife, right?
By any chance, we are passenger aboard the Lombardia. Yes, I was. Who are you people? We met them. Desert Island? Oh no. The Cancerways are gathering at a base camp not far from you. Green Escort, are you there? Okay, my name is Allison. A doll will turn with Allison to, to Castaway Village and introduce her to Barbaros and Dogie. She seemed very shocked to learn that she had washed ashore on the desert island. Though she seemed hesitant at first, Allison decided she would help the others escape. And so... I understand the situation now. In the city, I worked as a seamstress. I even had my own shop. Is this the same voice actress as Yuna? Why am I so out of focus now? grateful for your assistance uh this may be like a strange seem like a strange question but you haven't find any, a man around my age named ed did you a man huh everyone we found so far is here oh i see oh darling pardon me but were you traveling with your husband yes we were traveling the whole time even as we were falling we were together the whole time even as we were falling into the ocean we were separated by the current and i haven't seen him since don't lose hope. I'm sure your husband ended up somewhere on this island just like you. Isn't that right, Mr. Christian? Really? I know you're just trying to comfort me, but thank you, Adol. You must be tired, Allison. Lasha, could you escort her to the lodge? Yes. Right this way, Allison. Thank you. As more castaways join the village, more daunting obstacles can be cleared. Castaways may help the village with their unique talents. Ha, huh, looks like this place is getting a little livelier. Something on your mind? Yes, but please keep this between us. I'm concerned that the beasts are getting, becoming more aggressive. The beasts on that could be bad for us. At the moment, I don't think anything is about to happen, but we should come up with a plan to defend this village and keep everyone safe. Understood. Just let, tell me your plan, and I'll do everything I can to put it into action. Thank you. Hey, doll, you know those are going to keep searching and mapping the island. I wonder where, where you'll end up next. Based on what you've mapped thus far, I think you thoroughly searched this area. That means I'll be gradually getting further away from the village. But we have Paro with us, so we can let you know from here if there's anything you, we need from you. Indeed, it might be best if you start searching the areas that you haven't mapped yet. I'm counting on you, too. Creating curtains. I'll have to create a curtain partition for the women's course so they may rest without worrying. Did you come to check on me? I feel much better after getting some rest. Thank you. I was just giving Allison some advice. Oh no, she doesn't have a problem per se. I'm just wondering what I can do to help her out around here. Allison and her husband own their own tailoring business. At the shop, I help my husband by taking care of all the sewing. So I'm going to help out around here. That'll be my contribution. Um, if it's not too much trouble. I'd like to borrow a space where I could bar do some sewing. Do you take care of securing a location and providing Allison with sewing supplies? This will do nicely. Looks like you're all set. Yes, I'm sorry for the trouble. I didn't think it would be so much work. 
But now I feel like I have a place to call my own. If you ever need anything to own, please come to me, Adol. Create accessories at the tailor. Oh, snap. Allison can create a variety of items for other materials. Certain items can only be made here, so be sure to check it often. Please take your time. Blade ring. Are you done already? Please Wait. take your time. Thank you very much. Side quest. May I have a moment? The village is sorely lacking in privacy, and this area in particular is no exception. I think the woman could feel more comfortable in here if the entrance had a covering. Don't you agree? Then I'd like to you to help me. I already discussed the matter with Allison. If we provide her with soft fibrous materials, she can use it to make a pair of curtains. She says she only needs two soft fibers to make the curtains. If you find any, please let me know. I'm counting on you. Taking a break from Scott. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it. No, I had been playing Tactics Ogre on the weekend. But, I mean, you were there last Sunday. And I was like, I'm getting kind of tired of this. Let's just play Sky. So we're taking a break from Tactics Ogre. We'll probably. I'll probably go back to playing Sky tomorrow. Because actually we're getting pretty close to the end of Sky FC. Um, and then I highly doubt I'll be able to keep myself from just going straight through all the Sky games. Um, however, our streaming schedule might be cha being changed up. And we might be start, uh, streaming for a couple hours on like weekday evenings. Or at least Monday, Tuesday, Friday evenings. Um, and then weekends, and then I also might start streaming a little bit of, uh, just for like an hour, hour and a half Magic the Gathering in the mornings, uh, but we'll see. It might, it might just be like, uh, Sky on during the week, jam this on the weekends. Kind of a deal. But if I if I feel like I want to play this on a weekday, I'll play this on a weekday. I don't care. Mm. All right, let's go back out. Do more adventuring. Where do we go? Requires 20 people. We only have six. Cobalt Crag. Here's the next story destination, so let's just go there.
We melted that thing. enough to make bread. We level up. Alright, story marker is over here. Ooh, coconut. I'm not seeing it. Where's this? After saying little para, everyone in the castle rises up. Try and boulders were clear. Thanks to everyone's help. Good luck on the search. Yes. Oh, we only need four more. Giant birds? Bird song rock. Thing in the water. Why is we in the water? Why were we able to hit the apples now? Those are actually the wrong ones. I was getting excited that we got more for our quest. But those aren't ripe or whatever. Poor dogs. Green, if you had to pick one video game to be your favorite video game of all time, which one would you pick? Have you ever heard of Gustav the Maneater? No. I don't think I have. I've heard of Gustav the Deadman's Captain. Trails of Cold Steel series. <laughs> Sturdy Bone. Three iron ore. Oh, 
Can I grab this and burn this? We got eggs because of Emma. I figured. Oh, did I miss that coconut? Oh. We can go this way. We got more sturdy lumber. That's so hot at level nine. We got side quest action over here. New trap time. Oh, what the heck are you? Melting everything now. Gustav's is 20 foot Nile crocodile has eaten over 300 people and more. He's so big that he's bulletproof and is able to scare hippos. He can even swim near their babies and the hippos won't do anything. Hippos are meant to be stronger than the average croc, by the way. Dude, hippos are like the most dangerous animals. Um, there's a rumor that he's dead, but the body was never found and people are still disappearing. I thought I was going to be attacked by um, bees. What? There's a chest over here? Where? Oh, there it is. Ooh, we got a blade ring. What's that do? Strength plus ten. Um, uh, we'll give it to her. Oh, this is, uh, we'll need people to clear it out. Okay, gotcha. We need eight people to clear out this landslide. Oh, it's just up here. Three beast claws? Nice. Everything in here, yes. Wandering around this deserted island, making me. Yeah, 
We killed a worm and got cabbage. Check out this other way first. Level 10! Reading levels at a solid rate. Rising Slash. What is it? I'm poisoned. Sonic slide. Aerial spin. Or This is poison go away. When does this poison go away? Why is this poison forever now? Drop from above and skewer the enemy. Nice. High wave, shock waves, crash. Oh, that's not going on my ear. Crash. Pull in nearby enemies by twir twirling the weapon. So I feel like I don't use the skills enough. I leveled up and I'm no longer poisoned. Let's go. How do I get it? Sahad, give me a boost.
I can't go in this water, can I? No. Let's go this way. Oh, Other than that chest that we can't get to. Cutscene? Stop! Uh, at all? Can we take a break? No, this doesn't phase me at all. There's a reason us sailors call them sea legs, you know. Not surprised this is a breeze for you at all. Well, with being an adventurer and all. I suppose your insatiable wanderlust does have its advantage. Your limitless stamina, for instance. Still, we gotta take a break. Me and Laxia are about to pass out. This area seems safe enough. I don't see any beasts nearby. Then how about we set up camp here for the night? Set up camp? As in the three of us camping together? Huh, you don't wanna? Of course I don't. So why must I camp with you two? Well, the Isle of Sayron is way bigger than any of us expected. There's no way we can search the whole island without setting up camps. What? No. Much as I am low to admit it, returning to the village simply isn't an option. Good, we all agree. Then let's set up camp right away. You ever set up camp before, Adol? God, I shouldn't have asked. You're an adventurer after all. Alright then, let's get started. Given this island's obvious lack of light sources, I assume nights here would be pitch dark. And yet, the moons and stars are far brighter than I thought them to be. <laughs> we sailors rely on the moons and stars to help us navigate at sea. Some things can only really be seen at night, long after the sun goes down. What made you want to become a fisherman, Sahad? Huh? Uh, why do you want to know? I guess you could say I didn't have a choice. Hmm. I grew up on an island called Crete. Pretty much all we got there is the sea. Doesn't matter how old you are, if you want to eat, you gotta fish it up yourself. So, where I'm from, if you want to live, you gotta fish. Simple as that. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Wasn't it difficult for you to grow up in a harsh environment like that? Harsh, I suppose. I've had my fair share of hardships over the years. And the sea, she could be gentle like a mother, but she could also be terribly violent. Yeah. I can hear it in your voice. The sea's made a lasting impression on you. She's made an impression on me, too. That's why I respect her. What? The sea is both bountiful and mighty. She's provided me with delicious meals and shaped me into the man sitting before you. Shaped you? I... 
You can't face the sea and all her grand majesty unless you first accept how small you are. The sea's no place for bluster or bravado. She don't stand for that nonsense. One careless misstep is all it takes to lose everything. Humans are small, fragile creatures, especially out there. When I realized that, I thought, I need to accept how small I am and be true to myself. And once I did that, I felt like I could face the world for the first time. That's why I don't like being dishonest. I've been true to myself for a long time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> sure feels great letting one rip out here in all this wilderness. I'm feeling much lighter now. Time to hit the hay. Let's get some shut eye, you two. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. You will sleep near the entrance, Sahad. Mr. Kristen will sleep in the center, and I will be in the far corner. Wait, that would place me downwind. Perhaps I should sleep near the entrance. <laughs> Welcome to the Temple of the Great Tree. As candidates, because we become the next maiden of the Great Tree, the temple is your home now. There exists a power that allows one to manipulate the laws of nature. With this power, one can read the wind, control water and fire, and even foresee the future. We call this power Essence. You're gathered here today because each of you are blessed with the power of Essence. Under our tutelage, you will receive a proper education. When the time comes, one of you will be chosen to become the next Maiden of the Great Tree. As you know, the Maiden of the Great Tree stands on equal footing with the Queen of Eternia. Please keep that in mind as you face what lies ahead. That's strange, I thought it was this way. Wow, what a magnificent tree. Is this the great tree of origins, the center of the entire kingdom? A gray vision. I saw a woman. Oh dear, are you not a, are you a candidate? You're not supposed to be here. Your eminence, um is a woman sleeping inside the great tree of origins? Hmm. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked such a strange question. You saw it too? Uh, yes. What is your name, child? Donna. Listen carefully, Donna. Do not speak of what you just saw to anyone. It could undo this wor the world itself. Huh? Although... If you become the next maiden, perhaps that time will come. Guess Square's doing it? Wait, what's what's Square doing? Are they selling to Sony? Or are they dropping the FF16 FF16 trailer? Now I have to check Twitter. Can I hit I have to check Twitter? What's going on today? Dragon Quest 10 coming to all platforms by fall? Oh. What's it not on? PC? No, it's not PC. It's already on Switch, PlayStation. Guess the series will slowly come over. I 
I would rather want Atlas to shrivel up and die. Damn, Reen. Get Persona and SMT games on all. Remember, make sure to remember that that's your opinion and that others may not share in it. Um, granted, I'm not uh, a huge fan of uh, Persona myself. Persona is why I want Alex to go. To okay, but a lot of people love the love the Persona games. Reen, come on. And we're getting distracted. There's like. Like, Anaxi said, oh shit, and I thought something was about to happen here. Uh, no, I do not. The more JRPG does making bank on the PC, the more JRPG does... Oh, sorry, porting Japan, porting Japan unlocalized games. And then we get Geofront to tran localize them fan-wise. Yeah, let's go. I didn't come alone. See, I missed what happened. The Grouch is with me too. Who's the Grouch? Who's even talking? Olga? Oh, don't owe Olga me. I swear, you're such a troublemaker. You snuck out of the temple, you were wandering around the black market. You entered a cleric's room without permission and destroyed things, claiming it was research. And just now you ditched the trial summary and sneak into the garden of the great tree. What is wrong with you? Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. Forgetting something? Huh? The baby bird you're hiding under your clothes. I bet you snuck into the garden to save it. How did you know? So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and take care of it. Otherwise you'll miss out on dinner if you keep dragging your feet. Hmm. <laughs> What's so funny, Sarai? It's nothing. What's happening in this game? For the top maiden candidate, you sure do worry about Dana a lot. I'm sure you've noticed that tendency of hers. Tendency? If Dana thinks someone or something is in trouble, she risks life in them to save it. Generally speaking, that is an admirable quality. But Dana doesn't think things through. She's impulsive and reckless. I think it's sweet. That's not the point. Sure, it's all well and good right now, but if she continues down this path... What just happened? We made a hilarious tent. Good morning, we got ourselves another beautiful day today. What's the matter? You look tired, Adol. A dream? Didn't you mention something about a dream the other day? Anyway, pull yourself together. We can't find the other castaways or map this area without you. How did you sleep, Laxia? Well, I managed to get more rest than I expected I would. As much dick waving as Alice vetted, at least it's not post PS1 era Final Fantasy. Great, great to hear. Even so, I miss sleeping in a bed. We should make more campsites in other places. That way, we, we got places to rest if the going gets tough. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right. FF in the last 20 years is the most overhyped, uninspired JRPG. 20? Alright, so you're saying everything? So like you're including 10? I like 10. I li I, I'll be honest, I love 15. I know, I recognize it had its problems, especially at launch, holy moly. It's a JRPG poster child. Because the most widely known. Um, the homie Trails Dad had a very interesting uh, tweet about this that was generating a lot of discussion. But other, I love the FF7 remake. Uh, I, I, uh, last year I did, I don't know when it comes to Final Fantasy, but I share some of your reviews on it. See, I appreciate people are discussing things in my chat, and I appreciate that. Um, Whether 
I think if Matsuno was able to finish 12, it would have been better. I just, I'm just not a fan of 12's battle system. I like that stuff in Remake for the gameplay and some story elements. I like the whole damn thing. I'm glad they got kind of nutty with it. But gameplay is, yeah, gameplay of F7 Remake is amazing. I thought about picking up the Integrate or whatever when it was on sale on Epic a few weeks ago. But I was like, I don't know, because I've already, it's not, I wouldn't be blind. I know everything that happens in it. I didn't know if I could justify that. Scared going to pull a Kingdom Hearts. I mean, um, Nomura's the guy who made FF7 before he did Kingdom Hearts, so FS issue is throughout the kitchen sink and other games are development hell. I don't know. The People love FF14, and apparently FF16 is having like the smoothest development time in like forever. And granted, whatever you think about FF13, apparently that game's... Oh, no, because they, they made the Crystal Tools engine. That kind of bogged it down. 12 had to deal with Matsuno, and then he ended up leaving. I have no idea about 11. And then 10 was them coming back from Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Nomura wasn't the main writer for the original game. He, he was character designer, and then he worked with Nojima on a lot of the stuff. Like, he was... People, like, if you, you go up and, like, find uh, discussions on apparently Nomura, like, there was, like, obviously Nojima's the one credited with writing the game, but Nomura was, like, right there. And apparently he's the one that kind of, like, the original idea for FF7 was that whenever you're, like, going back to Midgar towards the end game, I guess spoilers for FF7, it was, like, the, the plan was to have your entire party die except whichever three characters you chose. And then no, Mora is the one to decide, like, no, let's just kill Aerith. I'll never play an MMO or live service game again. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm an idiot. And I just couldn't figure out how to get into a server. I also think that's funny. It's scummy that integrated PS5 and PC. When most people can't even play it. Yeah, I was very upset whenever they said that it was PS5. And it didn't even come to PC until de uh, December. And so... I was very upset with that, but I kind of get it because they're trying to transition because like, apparently there's just more work that goes into making it PS4. Or not. But then no one owns freaking PS5s. I own more than I could play in the rest of my... There are too many games to do with live service scanner boxes. We're getting away from East, guys. <laughs> okay, Adol, let's get going. Although I'm, I appreciate discussion. You can rest, restore HP, SP, and extra gauge. You can cook meals over the campfire. Now, go ahead. This damn parrot. This <laughs> Crewberries. GPs are easy to get now. Yeah, when I was looking at upgrading my uh, PC last year, that was kind of a pain. And I was talking about a guy I go to church with. He works on PCs for a living. I was talking to him about doing a custom build. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Um, I remember seeing one guy whine about cross-gen being a thing, but scalpers have been a thing for more than a year. Well, cross-gen's a lot right now just because if people make a game and it's PS5 exclusive, then not enough people own PS5s. So it's not um, beneficial. It's like why Horizon isn't a PS5 exclusive. Like, I have a 2070 Super. Would you look at that? What a fascinating place. It looks like it was carved from these cliffs. Like a bunch of coral. Perhaps there used to be a coral reef when this area was completely underwater. You think that's possible? You sure about searching this place? We could end up getting lost here.
You're right, other casters may have already gotten lost in here, and this place leads to other areas of the island. Guess we should search this place and it'll make things easier in the long run. Where are you? Yeah, wow, wow, cross gen, wow. Let's just release something almost nobody can play though. Like, like bigger companies can take the hit. Square has a limit of money printing between development. It's called porting their backlog to Steam one by one. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. If if we ever get freaking FF Tactics remaster, I'm gonna lose my mind. I will drop everything I'm streaming in order to play that game. It's odd Crisis Core wasn't ported from PSP, but they ported it. Because they, they can't do anything with Crisis Core because of the whole GAC situation. Like, they literally... Because, like, the character of Genesis and the fact that they use GAC's likeness for it, they can't really touch that game at all. Which sucks, because Zack Fair is my favorite video game character of all time. Damn GAC, yeah. Like, I didn't know that. Like, oh shit, I'm almost dead. Also, Type Zero was a lazy port. I tried playing Type Zero on PlayStation 4, and like, I like game over it really fast, and I was like, nah, never mind. Wait, I can just. Are we in? Are we? Are we in a dungeon? Well, I just stay here while I get my health back. So we're in a dungeon area. They even bother with zero. A lot of people, or I followed like a, the Final Fantasy peasant guy, and he really liked it. What the heck? I'm glad we got non 3D, 3 and 4 ports. Only models for the playable characters had their models spruced up and it was so dumb. Wish we had Secret of Mana non 2D port. I haven't played that game. I usually have a type zero is how much of a story content is missable, so you get almost nothing on characters. Aren't they all like named like after uh, playing cards? Oh, I didn't dodge. Also, his dubbing was Trials of Mana Bad. A big boon for PC would be if Nintendo ever loosens its strings on Xenoblade. Oh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Nintendo's biggest selling point are all uh, is like a huge library of exclusives. So much was like wrap around. What the heck? Many other originally switched through the reported to other consoles that pissed poor sales. Yeah, I suppose that, but 
I feel like there's a difference because doesn't does Nintendo own Monolith Soft? Because they're like like Octopath Traveler, like it's it was a it was a Switch exclusive, but it was still made by Squeenix. So it's like once that window is closed, then they could port it. Or like bravely default to. I was actually looking at that. Sony exclusives are great if you only play AAA games. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I will buy. I will. I really want to play Horizon. Forbidden West. But I will get a. Hopefully, I'm in a position where I can get a PS5. Uh, whenever FF16 comes out. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Why, why does he not always do the... Oh, you gotta hold down. Gotcha. Would we kill this fish, please? Murdered that fish. Oh my gosh. Here, crab. I heard it had some performance issues, but a lot of people really like the story and exploration, and I loved the first one. So, um, but I had heard about performance issues. How do I, can I climb, have either of y'all played this game? Can I climb, can I climb these vines somehow? And I'm just not smart enough to do it. Cause I'm pretty sure that and that leads to the chest. And there's another chest in How do I get there? Snake amulet. Your rave reviews of people have never heard of Easter trails. The pierce, the one. Well, the person I'm referencing is um, a trails fan that I follow on Twitter, and I still love Horizon Zero Dawn. So you know that. Uh, I wonder if the Sony age from the PS4 days might die out. Easy to find a five-star game when 90% of your offerings are forgettable. Seen the beginning of that. Regardless, Nintendo has always been simple to emulate. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta jump down. Or, oh, it's, it's right here. Gotcha. So Xenoblade Combat is just like more in-depth Final Fantasy XII, right? Oh my gosh, I ate all. There's a chest there. Did homie just fall off? Oh. Supposed to just go this way? Then? Oh, we can't go that way. What the heck? Where do we go? Do I gotta go back down?
Do we take fall damage? Oh, we didn't get this chest. All right, go back up. Dolphin is already working on Steam Deck. You can't do an elimination unless it can be streamed on a Chromebook. PSP and DS games. Is that over here? And can I even drop down here because... There's this thing in the way. How do I get? Oh, I have to go. I have to get around over there and then drop down. Lame. <laughs> Darn. All right. This was the path, right? We go further down. Well, since we saved it. An issue I have with it. Only good DS emulator on Play Store is buggy and has gotten buggy AF. First I thought it was Pro Controller, your controller. We're just fine on PPS, SPP. I'll continue to always have emulators because Legend of Dragoon and OG Resident Evil are too good not to keep copies on hand. Holy giant crab, Batman. <laughs> Holy crap, this thing's in. We did it, team. I didn't mean to switch. So I'm to hit X to freaking attack, and I'm like. Get up, you idiot. Oh, we got two ripe crew berries. Oh my gosh, there's a crystal there, which means it's probably about to do a boss fight. If Capcom could sell OG res, they could probably get a couple million sales easily. Where'd these enemies come from? Oh, there's people there. Okay. Hey, that's... Oh, that guy's a... Dongus. Should I grow a mustache like that? What are you waiting for? Tend to my injury at once. Please be still. You seem to have sprained your ankle. This is not a serious injury, but just to be safe, I'll make a splint for your ankle. Uh, why did this misfortune happen to befall me? This wouldn't have happened if the ship hadn't sunk. Oh. Ah. Who are you people? How did you get here? These two look familiar. I'm pretty sure I saw them on the Lombardia. What? That's some fancy getup you're wearing. Who are you anyway? Who am I, you ask?
You are in the presence of Sir Carlin, honorable noble of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire. And what about you? My name is Kirko. I'm doctor, actually. I don't remember this guy on the boat, but I could be wrong. Huh, doctor? Well, you definitely sound handy. Hmm. <laughs> Adol and the others introduce themselves and explain the situation. A c -c 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 cursed forsaken island? What's going to happen to us? A ship. I demand that someone prepare a ship at once. We must flee this island post haste. Gah, if that was possible, we wouldn't be in this mess. So how did you end up here anyway? Well, when we washed ashore on this island, we stayed put to wait for, wait for help to arrive. But after a while, it didn't seem like help was on its way, so we decided to look for others. I never would have guessed that this island was completely deserted, though. Gotcha. I think I have a better idea of what's going on now. It's probably best if we go with you to Castaway Village. Hmm, how could this happen to me? Hmm? Oh, ho, you girl. Huh, me? Based on your attire, you must be of noble birth as well. Tell me the name of your house. I'm a member of House Roswell of Garmin. Garmin? Are you a provincial noble by any chance? Roswell, you say? I believe I've heard that mention of mention of that family as of late. No matter, daughter of House Roswell, lend me your shoulder. Why? So you may escort me to this so-called castaway village. I cannot make for the trek on my own, for I've injured my ankle, you see. Uh, come on now, long now, chop chop. You may even carry me if it pleases you. That might prove difficult, Sir Carlin. I'll take you guys back to castaway village. What the heck is Dogie doing here? What are you doing here? I happen to be in this area already, taking care of a few things. My eyes in the sky told me over here spotted you guys and told me you were nearby. Found Adolf, found Red. Oh, I see. I was about to head back to just now. I can escort these two back to the village for you. But I don't want you to be escorted by a hulking brute like you. These guys need to focus on searching for other castaways. The only way we're getting off this island is if we all help each other. So could you please cooperate? Huh, <laughs> fine, let's get this over with already. He seems to be walking alright. So you don't need me to carry you? I'm perfectly capable of walking on my own, thank you very much. Dugger really lets himself go after this game. <laughs> I heard this one people one issue people have is like this um, the inconsistency with Dogie's build or whatever throughout the game. Phew, what a relief. Yeah, that's also his personality, apparently. He goes from a fast knee seven and a hipster in Monster Knox. That stuff sure it seems to grow a pain in the ass. Hey, all can we talk before I go? Um, it's interesting that you call yourself an adventurer. Yes, I think it's a fitting descriptor for you. Since you're an adventurer, I feel I can trust you with some pertinent information. There's actually a third castaway with us, but she chose to stay behind. Well, she seemed like a composed young woman. I would assume that she's still at the original spot where we washed ashore. That's concerning. Where is this spot exactly? We washed up on the shore on the other side of this forest. Could you please speak to her if you happen to find her? She's all by herself? That's kind of sad. She's a br very brave woman, but a woman nonetheless. I've been worried about her since we left her behind. Understood. We'll head out at once. Thank you. Please find her. Anyway, I suppose I should be off now, too. Thank you very much for all your help. Hoping Sonic Frontiers is a good 3D Sonic game. I never got into Sonic. He certainly has a doctor's demeanor. I imagine he'll be very helpful to us. Sir Carlin, on the other hand. Okay, let's just get through this forest and find that shore. Alright. Alright. I'm assuming we're about to do a boss fight, so I'm actually gonna use the rest more fast and we'll get back.
Why does Laxia need less experience to go to... Or do both these numbers add up to the same thing? They don't. Alright, let's go. Let's do this thing. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's just the next area of the dungeon. Oh, never mind, I was right. Dragon Turtle. The Merciless Maw of Terror, Serpentus. Down. Really, there's no real build up to that boss at all. Was it even a boss or is it just like a midway boss? Exactly like the other dead body. Must have been here long before we arrived. Judging by the attire, he had every part of the same pirate crew as the other corpses gone. Hmm, what's this? There's a strange pair of gloves near the corpse. Rest we can make use of them. Shah, can you pick them up for us? Me? Men should take the initiative in situations like this. Well, if it's gonna help us survive. Nope. Nothing personal, dead pirate guy. Grip gloves. What do those do? Adventuring gear helps you. Pro oh, we can climb the vines now! Let's <laughs> do those guys. I'm gonna try wearing them. Oh, we're gonna make anger the dead. Might as well go the whole melee. Is melee a mile? You see the adventuring gear great glass. You can pick adventuring gear. Oh, we can, we can climb vines. Ice. This reminds me, we got another thing for this guy. I think you can use those gloves to climb it, Mr. Kristen. Wow, these are some great gloves. I bet we can reach more places now. Heck yeah, we can, my guy. Swing, oh, there's things down there. Oh, 
Oh, chest, chest. Spirit, spiral manual. Let's go. Come on. Also, watch Trapped in a Dating Sim. It's actually super good. Is that an anime? I feel like this is alright where you're supposed to go, so it's going bad. back to this crystal over here to re heal.
Oh, dinger. Oh, I fell out. Plants. Right, that's where you're supposed to get that chest. So we've gotten all the chests now. 
Oh, there's still that one that we haven't gotten. There's that one. I think we can drop that over there. Oh, I've already gotten this. Where the heck are we? Wait, we are on the other side. Oh, we're over here. Oh, you can't jump across? That's lame. Found it. done everything here Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Wait, can I?
Got you, crab. New location. Rainbow Falls. President Square Man Island Circle. Pretty busy, you know. Where's this? Something happened? Many beasts. Cosmic village in danger. Beast, what's going on? Hurry up, hurry back. This sounds like an unusual situation. Let's return to the village, Master Christine. Let's return to the village. Fast travel to the village and the map maker. There's a raid. This is stupid. Let me get this chest first. have surrounded Castaway Village. Now how do we get in? Beasts? So what Paro said was true. The beasts around here have been getting more ferocious lately. Why don't we go talk to the captain? He'll fill you in on the details. What are the numbers of the beasts around the village? I couldn't even tell you. They keep increasing bit by bit. I figured something like this would happen, so I set up a barricade just to be safe. I was hoping we never need to use it. Man, what a day. I bet they're ticked off at us for being in their territory. That's one possibility. Hmm. <laughs> what should we do? The stone cliffs around the village are our best defense. Attempting to flee the village would pose a greater risk than that staying put. That makes sense. Then what are we gonna do? Long term, it's in our best interest to defend this village. In which case, I suppose, suppose I propose that we meet the beasts in the field and fight them off. Sounds easier said than done. You got a plan for fighting them off? Yeah, we determined that the beasts are invading from two points: from the shore to the south and the mountains to the north. I propose that we split into two groups and meet those beasts at both points. Adol, I want you to relax here and hide to defend the south shore. The rest of you will come with me to fight off the beasts coming from the mountains. How's that plan sound to you? Thank you. I know I keep asking you to risk your life. I do apologize for that. Once you feel like you've fully prepared for this shit, yourselves in the sign area. I wish you all the best. Hey, this is new. It depends on what you're thinking. Captain Barbara's asked me to set up this place. Though rudimentary, the apothecary is now open for business. Moving forward, I'll handle the mixing and brewing of all medicines. By the way, before you found me, I stumbled across a rather interesting area. Many poisonous beasts can be found around there, so be on your guard. I can make some antidotes for you. Take some of before you leave.
healing. We improved our weapons. We have healing items. All right, if you're prepared, then stand by. Beast Ray. Beasts are gathering it. We missed. I'll handle it. Looks like the beasts aren't here yet. They have passed the barricade down for the village. So we lost line of defense. We gotta hold off the beast make sure they're gonna pass us. Oh, what's that? Bait. How clever. It appears to be a lure to distract the beasts. The beasts are drawn to that lure, or the easier for us to dispatch them. So we should protect lures too? That's right. In the end, we don't want the beasts to penetrate the barricade. If we can defend the lures, the battle will go much smoother. Man, my stomach's doing cartwheels. Can you give us some words of encouragement or something, Adol? Let's get off this island alive! Here, here! Yeah, my family's still waiting for me. Fighting off invading beasts. Barricade last time defense battle blocks with this falls. Lord of Strikes Beast Battle. The greater your advantage, the faster your HP and SP will regenerate to support learning longer battles. What does that mean? What's the situation at all? Seems that way you mentioned the team that I said to you. From what the captain said, I could tell more beasts on the way. More? I hope it's for ourselves then. That's right, one more thing. From now on, those of us who are able to go to who are able and willing will probably be support. support. Yeah, you guys are clearly on over here. So I keep Tazer's students and keep support. I see that'd be very helpful. Alright. There are two stations there, one. Very cocky now. Competing as doggy from
think that hit for the thing. On my way. Everyone, charge! We lost the lure? Oh, Long Beach. I'm very on. Ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> we did it, everyone. Yeah, good job. Got an A. How wonderful. Looks like I came in handy. Good, good. <laughs> they got an S. They're just tallest leaves, strange mass. Bunch of stuff. Bitter remedy, Goranga Pincer Iron Ore. Their first time bonuses for each new rank reach, but squares are based on a clear time defeat, enemies, fortification conditions, etc. Enemies may retreat after some time passes. Be careful as this can affect your score when calculating the enemies you defeated. I feel that was kind of constant fighting gets pretty tiring after a while. At least the beast finally had to it out of here. Yeah, I won't need to worry about them anymore. My legs are still shaking. I knew that we'd be able to defend this village ourselves and ensure everyone's safety. It is regrettable that you had to come to our aid instead. I'm terribly sorry for that. We had to work together to fight him off. That's just the way it is. So even so, Captain Barbaros. There's a good chance that we'll get hit by another beast raid in the future. Hmm. We need to fortify our defenses so we can fend them off better next time. And to do that, we need more people in the village to help us. That's why we need to hurry and rescue the other castaways, Mr. Kristen. Return to in the nick of time to help us at all. In the event that we're ready again, I'll make sure that little Paro relays a message to you. I appreciate if you would come to our aid when that time comes. Good, but finding the other cat's ways and clean the map is just as important. Make sure you properly assess the situation before deciding on a course of action. Now then, shall we resume our search for the other cat's ways? Raids. My raids marked active. A sword icon will appear on Dougie's location. Raid practice. Um, I'm actually just going to call it here. Um, yeah. I gotta go shower. Maybe get some stuff ready for dinner. Um, yeah. This game is fun. Uh, I'm enjoying a lot more with, like, the adventuring and the, like, exploring aspect of it than the pure, like, JRPG storytelling. I think story-wise is really happening yet. Although, when Tim did convince me to buy this game, he was like... East 8 has a slow start narratively, so. And the fact that everyone, or a lot of people, consider this game like a masterpiece, I'm assuming it's going to pick up pretty heavily eventually. But either way, I'm having fun. The music's good. The combat's fun. Um, the constant level ups make you feel like you're actually accomplishing stuff, so that, that's all great. Um, next stream will be tomorrow, uh, probably in the, around lunchtime. Uh, uh, we'll go back to Sky for a bit. Uh, we're pr approaching the end of Sky FC, and hopefully we can beat that game on Nightmare. But yeah, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash imthemica and hang out with us live. Speaking of which, Reen, Anaxi, thanks for hanging out live. Thanks to everyone who watched this. Uh, we actually did decently on viewers, uh, which is nice and fun. Uh, just gotta build up those followers. Um... And then we'll really be cooking, as they say. 
But yeah, so hope everyone has a great and wonderful day. And to everyone who has watched this, is watching this, or will watch this, God bless you.